guys and welcome back to my drugstore week. So this part is going to be part three and I really hope you are enjoying my drugstore week so far. So yeah, I'm just going to jump into this video and this one is going to be my top holy grail products in the drugstore. Now there is so many, many good products in the drugstore right now. There's just so many and it's quite hard to narrow them all down because there's just a lot of great products. So I have tried to narrow it down to at least 10 or it might be 12 maybe at the most. Um, so yeah, I do have a bunch of products here that I do want to share with you because I'm absolutely loving them. So I'm just going to get started and I'm going to start off with foundations first and then I'm going to work my way down like from foundations, concealers, lip products, eye products and stuff like that. So, so I have two foundation options here because I absolutely love matte foundations and I love glowy foundation depending on what time of year it is or whatever I'm feeling that kind of day. So one of my most favourite, my probably my favourite matte foundation, it is my favourite matte foundation and it's this L'Oreal one here which is the infallible one and this is the 24 hour matte wear one. This is incredible stuff. So it has a lightweight matte finish to it. It doesn't feel cakey on the skin, it doesn't feel heavy at all, it's very lightweight. It glides onto the skin perfectly and it gives you the most flawless flawless finish. A great thing about this foundation, you don't need to set it at all with any powder, translucent powder, anything like that. It keeps you matte all day, like for me it's just one of the best foundations ever. It keeps me matte all day but it's not that sort of totally flat matte, it's just a nice kind of natural flawless looking matte finish, it's just incredible. So for a more dewy and glowy foundation I do 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 love another L'Oreal foundation which is this one here and it's the Lumi Magique foundation, this is great as well. This is a little bit more heavier on the skin than the infallible one. Now it's not very heavy that you feel as if you're caked up at all. It's still quite nice and lightweight, but it has, because it's a different texture altogether from the matte one, it has more of a dewy finish to it. So again, it is a little bit more stickier on the skin if you kind of set it with a powder or just sort of make sure it's really well blended in with your foundation brush then you'll have no problem at all with it. It is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. I highly recommend this. This is just incredible stuff. Again, this lasts such a long time as well on the skin. Now as I say it is a kind of more dewy glowy foundation so if you are a little bit oilier then maybe you might not like this as much or make sure you set it with a powder but yeah it's a gorgeous gorgeous flawless kind of foundation as well so highly recommend this as well. So for concealer I have tried a bunch of them from the drugstore and there is possibly I would say two that stand out to me but one this one I've got here is just my favourite over the two. Um, I really like the L'Oreal True Match concealer that's a great concealer as well but this one just beats that one this is the Maybelline the eraser this is such a great great lightweight formula it's just perfect concealer I actually really like the kind of applique at the top the little um, the little puffy ball but I absolutely love that because it's really easy to apply it rather than using one of those little sticks I mean I know a few people don't like it for hygiene purposes but I really don't see what the difference is between that and the kind of little bit on the end of the a stick one they use. So yeah, see I really love this concealer and it lasts a long time as well. It doesn't cake up under your eye and it doesn't get sticky because sometimes with um, concealers that I have tried they're quite sticky and they, they like melt into your eyes and it's a bit, it's ridiculous. It kind of gets a little bit sticky and tacky and it's just horrible and you cannot wait to get it off. But this one doesn't do anything like that at all. So this is great because what it does is it sort of conceals it under the eye area but also lightens it up as well. And I do have the shade light and it's just perfect. It's perfect for concealing and it's perfect for highlighting the under, not highlighting, but um, brightening up the under eye area. So yeah, I highly recommend this as well. So for bronzing, I always, always, for well, the majority of the time, I use this. This is just perfect as well. And this is from L'Oreal and it's a Glam Bronze Bronzer. This is just the most golden shade ever. It's really, really warm and gives a lovely summery, goldeny tone to your cheeks. I need to get a new one of this. But yeah, I absolutely love this. So for blush, I don't really experiment too much with blushes because blushes, for me, once I find the perfect blush, I stick to it because I sort of like more subtle blushes, like more on the peachy coral side as opposed to kind of pinky red shades. So I don't experiment too much with blushes, which I actually should. I should maybe try getting a few more blushes. But one blush that sticks out to me from the drugstore is this one here, which is from Makeup Academy and it is in the shade Lolly. Now this is a really gorgeous sort of peachy corally shade. It is just perfect. It's it's most kind of nice subtle flush, but it does go a long way. You literally only need to dip your brush into this a tiny, 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 tiny bit because you do get a lot of product that comes out onto your cheeks. So yeah, you need to blend it away quite well. But 
This is a great, great blush. It's also a matte blush, so you're not going to get those shimmery pigments through it. So it's great for when you want to apply highlighter on top, so you've not got too much shimmer on your cheeks. So yeah, I really, really love this little blush. And I think this is only a pound from the drugstore. So moving on to eye products, my favourite mascara from the drugstore is this one here from L'Oreal. And this is a telescopic false lash effect mascara. It gives me so much volume and length to my lashes. It makes me jet black and gives me great curl as well. So I do, do highly recommend this one. Now I have tried a couple other ones from the, from the telescopic range. Like they have the gold one and the black one. The black one is great for giving volume as well as your lashes. But the only thing I don't like about the black one is it sort of bleeds onto your under eye area which is not good because you have to sort of like keep reapplying some concealer or wiping it away with your kind of concealer brush which is annoying because when you're out you've not really got any brushes on you so that's what's quite annoying about the black one although it gives you great great volume so I really love this silver one which is the false lash effect one from the telescopic range perfect so for liner there is a few liners in the drugstores that are good but the only thing is some of them go quite grey, especially those little pen ones. But one I think is really great and doesn't go grey is this one here from Barry M and it's their liquid eyeliner. It's a really quite small nib on it, like this. It's really short and it's quite a small nib on it but it's kind of a thicker nib so it's great for doing a line and it's also great for doing a wing. So I use this most of the time when I want to do a wing liner. So yeah, I absolutely love this and it doesn't go grey on your eyes so it's good. So staying with eyes, another thing that I don't really see a lot of people talking about in a drugstore eh, of which ones is the best ones is eyeliner pencils. Now one I have found is this one here which is from Rimmel and it's from their Exaggerate line and this is the waterproof eye definer. This thing is incredible. It's great because it's a wind up kind of one so you've got the kind of crayon -y coal sort of look to it. So with a lot of waterproof products they aren't great but this is great for your eyes because the fact that you can put this on your waterline and it doesn't smear into your eyes it doesn't just disappear it stays on your eyes for a long time it doesn't last all day but it does last a hell of a lot longer than ones that are not waterproof so yeah i highly recommend this it also has a little kind of smudgy nib on the other side of it if you want to kind of put it on your outer corner but yeah I really like this eyeliner pencil and it's great because it's a cool wind up one and I love the one. So moving on to lip products, this was the hardest part because there is a lot of great lip products in the drugstore. So my favourite lip liner has to be this one here from Rimmel. Now this is the year again from the Exaggerate line, I really like the Rimmel Exaggerate line. And this is the East End Snob lip liner, like the shades East End Snob. It is just incredible. Again this one is a twist up. This is the most perfect nudish sort of pinkish lip liner that goes with many 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 different lip products like lots it goes with glosses it actually goes with cream products it goes with matte lip products it's lovely and smooth on the lips and it also plumps up the lips slightly as well because it is very close to your natural lip color so yeah it's a great, great lip liner and I highly recommend it 1 million percent. So as I said, it's very, very hard to narrow down lip products from the drugstore because there's so many great ones. So I have picked out three ones that I think is just great and you really need, really, really need to try these. And two are from L'Oreal. The first one is this lipstick here, which is from the Colour Riche Collection and this is Eva's Nude. Now this is the most perfect, corally, peachy, nudie shade i have it on my lips today and it's gorgeous it has a little kind of shimmery flex in it ever so slightly though so it's a great lip product if you want to wear daytime if you want to wear nighttime i wear this a lot an awfully awfully lot it's quite creamy so it is quite smooth on the lips and also with it being creamy it's not going to flake up or crack up on your lips i really like this lipstick from l'oreal so another product from l'oreal that i absolutely love and it's this one here which is a newly formulated lip infallible glosses these are great now this is the shade i've got the power number 110 this is great this has a sh this has a cream finish to it and i love the applicator on it it's like a little kind of wonky doe for the applicator it's great they smell like a vanilla -y smell which is lovely it's really great for the lips it's very smooth it lasts a long time on your lips as well it's very high gloss as well it's really close to your natural lip shade as well so it's perfect for wearing every single day so great product another great product that barry m came out with i think it was just the beginning of this year there was their new satin lip finishes 
Now satin lip finishes are incredible, satin and cream finishes are just great, they're my preferred lip kind of finishes. Now this is the new satin finish one from Barry M and it's the 169 Truffle Shuffle shade. Now this lipstick is just incredible, it's so creamy and so buttery on the lips and it's very kind of like a pinky nudie shade as well with a hint of brown in there which looks very natural on your lips, it also plumps your lips up slightly because of the kind of creamy finish to it and how natural it looks. It's very kind of glossy even though it's a satin finish too, lasts a long time on the lips, gorgeous, doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't feel dry on the lips, it's very moisturised and very hydrating so yeah I absolutely love 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 this lipstick for Barry M. So for brushes from the drugstore, now there isn't enough a lot of brushes to be honest in the drugstore um, apart from like all the Real Techniques brushes are just great, absolutely love the Real Techniques brushes, incredible brushes but one brush that really stands out to me from the drugstore has to be this one here which is from Makeup Revolution and this is great for applying or blending in your contour. I like to apply my contour with the Real Techniques contour brush and then I like to kind of blend it out with this one here from Makeup Revolution. Now this is just great, it's really great for putting bronze on as well. It has it's sort of angled as well, I don't really know what it's called, does it, does it have a number on it? It's the F105 brush, I absolutely love this brush, it's nice and soft as well on the skin so yep great little brush. So that's it, my top holy grail products in the drugstore, so I really hope you like seeing my favourite products and yeah, let me know down in the comment section what is your favourite product from the drugstore because I'd love to try some other new products in the drugstore, that'd be great, so let me know in the comments. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you liked and enjoyed it and stay tuned for the rest of my drugstore week videos coming up tomorrow and the next few days, so yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.